Hey everyone, it's Skylar. Welcome back to the channel. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing very well. Even though I'm a little bit poorly today, so I'm just about up for doing this video. So we're on to day 19 of 31 days of these top 10 lists. And today's list is top 10 favourite horror movies from the 1970s, which is my favourite decade of horror. If you guys didn't already know that, well now you do. So, yeah. But I've got a little bit of a surprise for you guys. I have two entries at number 10. So I couldn't do a full on number 10 list. But, but both my entries are actually at number 10. So we'll discuss them. So first, number 10. 1975 and by the way these are both in the same year 1975 and it stars Susan Sarandon I think you're guessing it Tim Curry and Richard O'Brien it is of course the Rocky Horror Picture Show and Tim Burton's character Dr. Frankenfair <laughs> yeah amazing this started like the whole like it just it's incredible oh yeah and meatloaf does a cameo in this as well so yeah i do really enjoy this movie so much it just now like reminiscing back to it it's just crazy now my other number 10 list as i said it also did come out in 1975 this movie was actually set in Barcelona. Yeah, this is actually set in Barcelona. Um, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a backstory. It's about, basically, there's like a, a group of Americans, they come on this coach trip to uh, Barcelona. And everybody's supposedly having a great time. But there's a killer on the loose. And the killer is taking people's eyes out. And actually putting them into their own eyes. And I'll just say this. The killer's a woman, not a man. Because usually on some, most giallos, the killer's a man. Yeah. So this killer's a woman. The name of the movie is Eyeball. Yes. So my other number 10 entry is Eyeball. So you are going to notice a little trend in this as well number nine 1977 Ooh. watch me when I kill another classic giallo and so is my number eight 1972 the case of the bloody iris yes <laughs> so three of my entries out of the four so far are giallos number seven on my list 1973 it has edward woodward and christopher lee in the wicker man you know the story i already have spoken about this before number six from 1971 stars ingrid pitt it is Countess Dracula. Number five, 1977's Suspiria. <laughs> Number four, 1979, with Klaus Kinski. It's Nosferatu the Vampire. Number three, also from 1979 stars Angus Strim and Reggie Bannister in Don Cascarelli's Phantasm number two 1978 one of Andre's favorite movies and mine too it stars Fade on away. 
Tommy Lee Jones. And I'm sure Raul Julia is in this. But don't quote me on that, but I'm sure he is. And it's the eyes of Laura Mars. And this was the movie that started off the American Giallo. I reckon. And I still reckon to this day. Oh, I'm just in a lot of pain. <sighs> and number one. 1979. My favourite horror movie from the 1970s and probably my favourite horror movie of all time. Besides one other movie. It is Zombie Due, a.k.a. Zombie Flesh Eaters. Lucio Fulci's classic. So, let's get into this. I have two number 10 entries, both from 1975, that is the Rocky Horror Picture Show and Eyeball. Number 9, 1977, Watch Me When I Kill. Number 8, from 1972, The Case of the Bloody Iris. Number 7, from 1973, The Wicker Man. Number 6, from 1971, It's Countess Dracula. Number 5, from 1977, Suspiria. Number four from 1979, it's Nosferatu the Vampire. It's number three, also from 1979, Phantasm. Number two from 1978, The Eyes of Laura Mars. And number one from 1979, it is Zombie Due, aka Zombie Flesh Eaters. Now I hope you enjoyed today's list. Because I'm going to give you a little clue for number 20. Oh, it's, this is going to be a good one, this. Oh, I've talked about horror villains. I've talked about my favourite twist endings. Tomorrow, it's time for the kills. <laughs> yes, tomorrow's list is going to be... We're, we're talking kills here. And we have some interesting ones. Yeah, so I hope you can... In, I hope you can join me for day 20, but for now, hope you enjoyed this list from day 19 of 31 days of top 10 list. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, turn that notification bell on, you will get a brand new video from me tomorrow. Oh yeah, and I will be posting 20, day 20s and day 21s, well, day 20s tomorrow, but day 21s on Monday, but I'll be filming them both tomorrow. Okay, ciao, ciao.